Hi everyone. So I um, wanted to talk to you about a new article which has been published by L'Actif, La Gefil Actif, which is a French um, newspaper about finance. And one of its articles is about um, s some atypical art assets. And I was interviewed as a specialized, a specialized lawyer in the field of art law, so a specialized uh, art lawyer, uh, to talk about various instances where some very weird um, art assets and artworks were sold um, either at auction or through private sales. One of these cases was the um, case of uh, a, um, an Italian artist who uh, auctioned during the, I think in May or in June 2021, the first semester of the year 2021, he auctioned in Italy a, uh, an artwork which was invisible. So apparently provided a certificate of authenticity, but the artwork was invisible. It would just auction nothing. So, and apparently it sold. I have my doubts about who actually bought the artwork, which was invisible, to be honest. Either it was a friend or a connaissance or, you know, someone of uh, um, his circle just to increase the sales and to do some sort of marketing coup, which I spent to the journalist who interviewed me, Jonathan Rondelet. And uh, um, so what, what do you make of this uh, transparent artwork? I mean, how do you... How do you tax it? What do you say to the ta taxman? Because he made a capital gain on it when he sold it at auction. Um, so I had this kind of interesting conversation with the uh, journalist. And I explained to him that in this case, because there is no artwork, there is no underlying artwork, it's, it's invisible. Therefore, the, um, the sale could be actually repealed by a uh, by court uh, since there is no consideration. There is nothing which has been sold. Um, and also from a tax standpoint, the, uh, the ta taxman could also contest the validity of a sale again because there is no consideration. In exchange of money, nothing has been provided since it's a transparent artwork. So we had this interesting debate. Another example of um, atypical artworks that this journalist put to me was the um, uh, Manzoni's piece, uh, 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 which was basically his own thesis put into um, a, um, a, a tin, a tin case, and uh, if, which he sold. And um, that was on the back of the um, uh, conceptual artworks created by, um, um, what, was, what was his name? The French artist who made a um, um, uh, it, his, his, his name elapses me, but he basically took a, like a sort of a peace pot, <laughs> a, 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 a pot for where women, uh, 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 where men, sorry, uh, a pee, and um, he made he turned it into an artwork, and so um, and this was the creation of a conceptualization, you know, conceptualized artworks, and it's actually quite an important piece of work uh, for you know um, because. Uh, it really is annoying because I should know this. Um, the guy actually and then immigrated to the United States of America. He was a French artist. And so, c'est l'urinoir. Okay, so it, it's called in French l'urinoir. And again, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the, this French artist who then immigrated to the States. But he's, he, he created the, um, the concept of uh, very conceptualized artwork, okay, by just saying, okay, this urinoir, this piece pot is actually a piece of work and and this is now a very famous and quite um, expensive piece of work actually um, so basically on the back of his uh, creation of his conceptualized artwork uh, Manzoni an Italian artist created a um, a piece with his own thesis okay and so the uh, 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 a journalist asked me two weeks ago so what do you make of that is that uh, is that an artwork yes of course it is because it it, it is uh, indeed weird <laughs> but um, as I said thanks to the conceptualization of these artworks um, created by this French artist 
euh, l'urinoir de... I can't remember the... Okay, sorry. Um, then, you know, you can... Uh, and Manzoni was quite famous as a fu futurist. I think he was in the futurist movement in, uh, and also uh, uh, in, uh, in, in, in Italy. Um, so, yes, there is good provenance. The artist is famous. He's got, he's got uh, uh, quite a, you know, uh, uh, good clout, basically, in the artwork, in the art world. And... Um, And um, uh, so that definitely could be, uh, you know, defined as, a, as an artwork. Uh, and the sale of that, either in, at auction or in a private sale, would be valid. Um, another example the journalist gave me was a, a piece called Air de Paris, which was basically an empty bottle with some air inside. And that was actually sold. Um, he asked me, is that an artwork? Yes, it is. There is a container, which is this... Uh, a glass piece glass recipient which contains the air and therefore uh, it has a title Air de Paris Air of Paris and um, it's been uh, created by a famous conceptual artist such as Manzoni of his French artist Le Rinoir de gosh I'm so annoyed I can't remember that name I, I, you know it's, it's really famous Le Rinoir de bon. and um, yeah so So basically, if you want to read this article, which is a really good piece of work, it's in French, but it's a, it's a very good piece of work uh, about atypical art assets. You can find this on La Gefi Actif, and it's uh, dated the 19th of July, 2021. Um, and I highly recommend it. Um, with uh, another bunch of uh, art lawyers, I'm interviewed and uh, cited in there. Um, so it gives you, you know, an insight into what lawyers have to uh, sometimes uh, contend with when the um, artworks uh, they, uh, uh, they, they have to work on are quite atypical. Bye for now!